A few months ago, we brought the crew at Matan Marine Restoration a boat that had sustained some minor hull damage, and in the process learned a thing or two about voids. As experts in the field of fiberglass boat restoration and repair, Matan encounters plenty of voids in their line of work. Company president Mike Borelli explains what voids are and how they form. It was originally a void. You can actually see a nice clear perimeter of where it hit and it just collapsed in that void area. You also, a good clear sign is, if you look, can you see the laminate is glossy? And you can see the top laminate is actually all dry, okay? So that means it was just a res resin-starved area. And watch this, and you can see it as we peel it away. You see the gloss, okay? It's actually a little bit of water in there. And this whole thing's just gonna pop, watch this. It's gonna pop wide open. And there is, Matter of fact, you even have dirt in there and you can see how dry the uh, layup is. See how the fiberglass strands have no resin in them whatsoever. So this is a common problem. That just because it's a sunfish or any other boat, this is something that we run into all the time, especially with all the warranty work that we do in different, uh, for different manufacturers. Um, listen, nobody's perfect. So this is gonna be a pretty straightforward repair. Scotty's gonna grind this out. And you can see, you can actually see, look how dry all the fiberglass is. Later, Borelli showed how to go about detecting voids below the gel coat. But if you go down the keel, and you can hear the difference. So we have another little void right there. And you can hear how it gets solid. There you go. So, so, so how does that happen, Mike, in the, in the layup process exactly? Well, what happens is boats are built in a reverse. What a lot of people don't realize, boats are built in a mold. And actually, the very first thing that they do is they apply the gel coat to the mold. And the first couple of layers of cloth that they put in there, they put a mat. And the reason why they use a mat first couple of layers is because mat doesn't print through. And as it shrinks, it won't show up in the gel coat. All it takes is that first layer is two layers of mat. In one spot, maybe somebody's hand, a greasy f uh, fingerprint or something along that lines against the gel coat. Uh, the mat doesn't stick to the gel coat and they just continue with the layup, pop it out of the mold, everything looks fine until you come across and you hit a rock or drop the boat or bring it up on the trailer or hit something and the first place to give is the void. So it's, like I said, it's a common problem something that we see in all manufacturers. Nobody should be singled out and say, oh my God, there's a void in my boat. It happens all the time. So.